Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Designer and bringing you all things design. This week we're going to take a look at the shell feature in SolidWorks. It's going to show you uh, a few tips and tricks how you can increase your success rate with the shell feature. Uh, okay, let's jump in and take a look. So this is the part we're going to take a look at today and we're interested in the shell feature. Um, and this is where we want to um, create uniform wall thickness. And typically this would be used for um, processes like molded parts, injection molded parts, plastics, stuff like that. So as you can see at the moment, we've got these rib sections here. Um, I guess they'd be grips or something, but this is a solid part. And we want to um, shell this to a 1.5 uniform wall thickness. So we'll click on the shell tool. Um, the thickness here is where you set the thickness of the shell feature um, and then you've got shell outward and show preview and multi thickness settings here so while SolidWorks thinks about it I'm just going to talk to you about uh, the likelihood of this shell operation um, succeeding here is very slim and, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute so all you need to do now we've selected our thickness um, this is saying the face to remove so in this instance it's going to be this face because we want it to be hollow and sort of works just thinking about it um, but a couple of um, important uh, points to remember with the shell feature is um, it's very important um, at the point in the feature tree that you decide to shell apart. It can have a, a, a large impact on the success rate of the feature. And we'll take a look at some um, tools in a minute that can uh, maximize our success rate for shelling. So um, it's taking a bit of time here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna fail. Right, here we go. The shell operation failed to complete. One of the faces may offset. A small face may need to be eliminated. So basically, what this is saying is there's um, there's too many, or there's there's one or too many small um, edges or entities in this, which I, I could have told you before we did this, but this is the example for the tutorial. So it says, if possible, eliminate any um, unintended small faces or edges. Please use tools check to find the minimum radius of culture. There are a couple of uh, diagnostic tools we've also got here now at our disposal, oh, our disposal um, that will help diagnose the issue. So let's take a quick look. We've got um, entire body or failing faces, check body faces. Here shows failed to offset. Face cannot be deleted, so this is pointing at um, the rib sections and min radius curvature 0.75 so it's indicating that these small features are the main issue um, with the feature we've got display mesh I'll show you that and you can go and check to our body okay so let's come up here tools evaluate check min radius of curvature that's the one we want and check so it's saying that the min radius of curvature is 0.3887, that's tiny. And I'd take a guess to say it's it's gonna be something to do with one of these here, or potentially this this area here. So um, this goes back to my first point. Um, where possible, I try to always fillet, um, sorry, shell before uh, any small features or fillets. So straight away, what I'm gonna do is roll the feature tree back before these small these small features um, were incorporated and let's see what impact that has on the min radius of curvature so we go tools evaluate check min radius curvature and we've gone up, so we've doubled, uh, we've gone up to 0.75, effectively doubled. So this is increasing the likelihood of the chance um, that the shell feature is gonna succeed. But I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna say that there's a few other areas that I think are gonna impact this. So I'm just gonna suppress um, some of the fillets here to see. we can I'm gonna suppress that hole as well 
because you can put the hole uh, back in after the shell feature with the wall thickness. Uh, so we're not going to go shell. We're going to check the min radius for capture again. So evaluate, check. Yeah, we're up to 2.6 now. So that is, um, I'd say you've got a chance, a, a good chance of shelling this part to um, a, a big. Yeah, there you go, four mil. Um, so that's that's more than what we're after. Go 1.5. And yeah, and then um, so in uh, what what you do now is obviously the fillets that have been removed. You'd you'd want to add them back in, but you'd want to um, you know allow for the thickness. So if we put a two mil on there, not there, sorry, on that edge, and then if we got a one point five wall, we'll put a. 3.5 on the inside and you know, you'd go through and uh, repeat the um, repeat that until you've got your features and fillets back in but so the point is um, you know the shell feature you have to uh, implement it before you've got um, you know any th little thins or little small vertices edges um, in your design so let's take a look at some other features we've got here um, we've got the show preview which is handy um, so that's showing you generally I think of all thumbs if you've got a preview you've got a good chance of getting um, the feature to work equally we've got the shell outward option that's quite cool that shells um, it does the invert so it adds material to the outside it's pretty cool and the multi thickness um, setting here you can select um, faces that you want to be of a different thickness so let's say I don't know let's say that that's gonna be three mil along with that one and that one let's see if it'll work oh I don't know what that one It'll take that one. That is strange. But let's just say it's going to be that for now then. And yeah, as you can see, so it shell everything to 1.5 and uh, this section to 3 mil. So uh, that's it for this week, guys. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, just a quick video on um, shell tips in SolidWorks. Um, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. See you next week. Bye.